Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. For the MCAT, it's very important to be able to draw critical structures and be able to visualize what happens when those structures change. In this case, as we break the glycosidic bond, we're causing a hydrolysis reaction to occur. The way you can remember this is you can think about lysis, meaning breaking. We're inputting water to break this bond. The way I remember condensation is I think about this water being removed and ending up on the wall of the container in which I conducted that condensation reaction. Think about condensation as when you breathe on a piece of glass, it ends up kind of foggy and there's like some condensation on there. Same thing with a reaction. If you do a condensation reaction, there's going to be condensation of this water on the walls of the container. Instead of being in the molecule, now it's out and about and it's going to end up condensating on whatever's around it. With this understanding, we know that the breaking of a glycosidic linkage is answer choice D, a hydrolysis reaction. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to take your MCAT score to the next level, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.